Now we're going to take a look at writing a quadratic function again, but this time it's going to be when we are given x-intercepts. This particular problem says write the quadratic function that has x-intercepts at 6, 0 and negative 4, 0, and also passes through the point 2, 10. So what we're supposed to do now is approach this using intercept form. Now this is a simpler version of intercept form that we did in class. Remember, we could also have numbers beside the x's, but because we are dealing with simple intercepts here, I was trying to approach this in a little bit simpler way for you guys. What we want to do is we want to plug in the intercepts, just like if we had the vertex, we would plug in the vertex. In this particular case, we have 6 is one of our intercepts, so remember what that means is if you go backwards to this intercept form, x minus 6 would be the thing that would be equal to 0. The same thing applies for negative 4 being one of my intercepts. x plus 4 would be the thing that is equal to 0. So essentially when you know the intercepts, you also know the factors in this factored form or intercept form because you know if you set this equal to 0, you'd get 6. If you set this equal to 0, you would get negative 4. So then what we do is the same thing we did with vertex form when we were missing the a value out in front. All we have to do now is plug in 2 and 10 for x and y to find a. 10 is the y value. 2 is the x value. And so you plug in 2 for x, you plug in 10 for y, and you solve for a. Now this one is a little bit easier than the other one, but it doesn't mean it's going to always have a pretty answer, but 2 minus 6 would be negative 4, 2 plus 4 would be 6, so 6 times negative 4 would be negative 24. So if you take those and you divide by negative 24 on both sides, when you divide by negative 24, that is going to give me 10 over negative 24. So when you divide by negative 24 and you get 10 over negative 24, you just reduce this fraction, or you could use a decimal if you need a decimal. In this case, uh, both of these here, you can divide them by 2, so it would be negative 5 over 12 is what it reduces to. So my equation, my final answer, would be y equals my a value is negative 5 over 12, and then I have x minus 6 for my intercept of 6, and x plus 4 for my intercept of negative 4. So this will be my final answer for my intercept form. That would be my quadratic function. Now another possible thing that you might see in some situations is you might see that you need to get this answer into standard form. Or you might need to get the vertex form that we did earlier into standard form. Now these two particular questions that I uh, made videos of are a little bit ugly because the a value but I'll just do it real quick with this one right here. If you need to get this in a standard form, all you have to do is do your distributive property. In fact, I'm going to go to a completely separate page here to do this. You do the distributive property with the x plus 6, excuse me, minus 6, and the x plus 4. You multiply x times x. That is going to give me x squared, x times 4. That's 4x. Negative 6 times x is negative 6x. And negative 6 times 4 is negative 24. So then you have negative 5 over 12 here. x squared, 4x and negative 6x is negative 2x. And then we distribute the negative 5 over 12. If you distribute the negative 5 over 12, that's going to be negative 5 twelfths x squared. Negative 5 over 12 times negative 2 is going to be positive, and then you're going to get 10 <coughs> over 12, excuse me, which is 5 sixths, or you could do a decimal. And then negative 5 over 12 times negative 24 is going to be positive 10 is what it actually simplifies to. So this would be what we call standard form. So you can get that into standard form by just multiplying that out. Same thing with the vertex form. You could put this into standard form. Excuse me, right here would be multiplying it. x plus 3 times x plus 3. Distributing the 12 over 49. And then subtracting the 7. So the key thing, though, is if you have vertex given to you, you use vertex form. 
if you have the intercepts given to you, you use intercept form. But then you can still get both of those in standard form if you need to. There will be one final video too where I show you how to get something in standard form with three random points using either Desmos or the graphing calculator.